Welcome to the Keeper.co.uk Cyber Coaching with me, Lee Reid. For the next few months during this difficult period, the Keeper.co.uk will both be live and pre recording many different videos covering everywhere from the basic to advanced goalkeeping techniques and throwing a few little player sessions in there for you guys as well. We can be followed on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. The sessions that I'm going to be producing can be done inside or out. The only extra things you need through the session are a drink, I've gone with amino acids today, towel and sensible footwear. There is no need to have a timer with you. I will be timing the sessions and producing and performing them with you. Um, for those competitive guys I've been amongst you, we have the Cyber Coaching Championship for the month um, with certificates and trophies available. So let's get on to the coaching. The kit you'll need for today's session are two cones. I've gone for a Nice orange one and a blue one. For the young guys amongst you, if you struggle with your lefts and rights, don't be afraid to write L and R on both cones to allow it to be a lot easier exercise for you. If you can't find any cones, find something along the lines of a towel. Just make them the same colour, one on the left hand side, one on the right hand side. You'll need a coin, I've gone for a nice large one, and a football. So for our warm up today, we're going to start with a one minute jog with the ball in our hands. Then we're going to do a dynamic stretching and then we're going to go back to a one minute jog. So let's get started. One minute on the clock. Let's go. Keep on your toes nice and high, keeping the ball nicely placed in your hand. You've got a nice five yard around you. If you've got no valuables in the room, don't be afraid to give the ball a little bounce. Have a couple of catches. Maybe even hold a few different zones. Do something so that the actual skipping on the spot doesn't become boring. Even a few little hand flicks. Good, 20 seconds gone. Making sure you're keeping your eye on the actual ball whilst doing it. And then hold a few different zones. Keeping nicely on your toes as you're jogging. You don't want to be flat footed during this. Don't be afraid to take the ball out wide. Open up your chest. Again, a few little bounces. Last couple of seconds. Excellent. So if we just put the ball down now, what we're now going to go on to is a few dynamic stretches. Now, a lot of people still do static stretches for warm-ups. What we're looking for is a dynamic stretch. So we're looking to try and elongate the muscle fibers rather than rip the muscle fibers during static stretches when the muscles are still cold. So massive key muscles for us are hamstrings, groins, chest and arms. So they're the four we're gonna work on today. So going on to the dynamic stretches, what we're gonna work on first is our hamstrings. If you've got a wall, or even a foam roller, which we'll work on in the next couple of weeks. If you need an extra bit of balance whilst doing the exercise, don't be afraid to hold on to something that allows you to get a better quality of motion. You're looking to do it for about 10 seconds, getting a nice fluent motion of the leg, trying to elongate the muscle as you're doing it. Once you've done that side for 10 seconds, switch, Go to the opposite side. Again, don't start quickly. But once you start getting into the rhythm of it and you feel the hamstring slightly elongating, don't be afraid to get a little bit further with the kick. Once I've done that for 10 seconds, I'm then looking to go onto the groins. Now, with the groins, you'll find on this exercise, because you need your core and you need your balance, you may lose your balance. So don't be afraid to use the coin that we've got. Put it on the floor as a safe spot. Now what a safe spot does is it allows us to watch it and keep our balance because our eyes are seeing where our still areas are. So use that as your safe spot. Get your eye right on the coin, shoulders back, abs tight, one leg in front of the other, and you're literally just gonna work your way across the body Try and keep as much balance as you can, and then change your leg. Excellent. 
Excellent, well done guys. So now we're working on the upper body. So what we want to try and hit is the chest and the arms. So to start with, with the chest, it's our big muscle up high. It stabilizes our W. It allows us to help accelerate off of a dive. Now obviously we're not going to be dive, doing do too much diving inside today. However, they're great muscles to know how to stretch. So the first one we're going to do, is just going to put the arms wide and lean into it with our chest. Just opening up the chest as we do it. Now, make sure you're continuing breathing. It's very hard to think about your breathing as you're doing exercises. What I want you guys to try and do is breathe and relax as you're doing the exercises. So once we've done that, we're gonna open up and go to just our arms. And all it is is gonna be big circular movements, both forwards and back, opening up both the rotator cuff and the rear and front deltoids. And then obviously change arms. Nice big movements, forwards and then back. And then when you feel that that's comfortable enough, shake your arms off. And for the last minute of exercise for the warm up, what we're gonna do is we're going back to that jogging on the spot with a load more handling and ball work. So just a little flex and we're starting. So just get yourself into a nice little routine and nice little rhythm. If you wanna increase this and be a bit more advanced with that exercise, single arm punches. Transfer to the other hand, single hands, or if you're struggling with that, just go back to the normal hand, flicks, holding of different zones. Just any ball manipulation you'd like to do that makes that little bit of jogging a little bit less monotonous, a little bit more enjoyable. Keep going, last couple of seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, brilliant, keep going. Three, two, and one. Well done all, good start. So today's main component, or first main component, is gonna be the set start shuffle, or the player passing up, depending on how you are doing it depending whether you're working as a player or as a goalkeeper on this one. Now, in my opinion, my set stance has a very stable core. My obliques come over the top and literally lock in. My shoulders are in front of the body. My knees, my toes are in line. My hands come out in front. They don't point wide and they don't point up. They have a nice neutral position so I can come up cleanly for a W or I can get down low for a clap save. Now everyone's set stance will have something slightly different with involved with it. If you have any other questions on set stance or how I coach my set stance, please feel free to private message me and I'll happily answer any questions that you have. So what we're gonna do is adopting your own set stance, what we are is we're gonna shuffle left and right and just get down into a set stance only for a couple of seconds each time. And then from there, we're gonna come up and meet in the middle and we're going to go on to our agility effect. It's looking like a sharp exercise, only for about two minutes, but keeping nice balance and keeping your core locked as you're doing it, okay? So here we go. In three, two, one. So you're gonna go wide and set. Come back in wide and set. And then you're coming up to hold and then going back wide to set. So you're just transferring out and transferring up and then coming back into lock. Now, if you're a player on this one, you can go right foot, you can go left foot, you can change, go left foot, you can go right foot. So depending on which one you want to do on this, depending on what you're going to do, I'm going to go back to the goalkeeping side. So I'm going down to lock and coming back through across. we we'll work for about 40 seconds now. So just keep the movements going, keep the balance in. If you need a little break, come back into the middle and just reset your body. And then go again, change from right to left, to left to right. Maybe go out twice to the right. So you're always changing your body's balance and body positioning. So you're always keeping the body guessing. Make sure as stated previously, you're trying to breathe as much as you can. So if you have to take that extra two seconds, three seconds here, 
as you're on your agility flight, please feel free to do so. You're just gonna work two minutes at this. So we have another 50 seconds to go. Nice balance, nice and still. And even we go to a front foot stance on this one. So we're coming up about one on one. And you go back to that. Little movements, little transferals, nice low set stance, and then come back in to set the shot and then go again. Fifteen seconds to go, keep going guys. Loads of little feet footwork and loads of little movements. Three, two, one. Brilliant, well done. Now, as I said previously, you need to take on fluids during this exercise because it's gonna be a little short and sharp work, but even as you can tell with me, you are still breathing heavily. So have five, six seconds, have a little bit of drink, get your breath back, and then we'll go on to main component two. So second component, what we're gonna do here is do a set stance reaction. So on this one, you need the coin that we said earlier. Now, if you're a player, what you're gonna do is you're gonna toss the coin up. If it lands on heads, you're gonna go left. If you land on tails, you're gonna go right. Same with the goalkeeper. However, as a player, what you're gonna do, is you're gonna just put your foot over the top of the cone of which whatever side it lands on. As a goalkeeper, you're going to set in the actual point of where it lands. So if it goes heads, you're gonna go left, then you're gonna set nice and high, nice and agile to then come back in. Obviously, you're then gonna to have to pick up your coin to then toss it again. We're gonna work for a minute on this one. So it's gonna be short, sharp work, and it's gonna be a little bit of movement and reaction at the same time. So everyone ready? We're starting in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. There's the first coin toss. It's going on to that one. So I'm over here and I'm staying for two, three seconds and then coming back here, grabbing the coin, flipping back out. It's going over there, so I've got to transfer that one. So now it's gone all the way over, so I've got to go and get it. And it's on. And it's back to the goalkeeper, so it's over this side. So I've got a goalkeeper and a player coin. So it's even more I don't know, confusing which side it's going to go to because I haven't got a head or a tail. So I've got to really think which side each of them are. Apparently I'm going to throw in the goalkeeper on this one. Uh, it's got to play that side. So again, stay high, stay lively, stay on your toes, keep the movements going. It's a little bit of a weaker toss that time. And then come back in, just work. 10 seconds to go. So two more tosses, come on, let's keep going. Last couple, last couple, let's go back out that side again. So how much sharp can you make the last two? Can you get out? Can you hold it through? And then, go down to the goalkeeper again. So for the last 10 seconds, all I want to do is stay on the spot. No action light. 10, nine, eight, seven, keep going. Amazing, six, five, breathe, four, three, two, one. Well done, I'll shake that off. So our last component is a set stance footwork today. Now, what it's gonna be is still on the reaction exercise, so you're throwing for heads or tails. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I found the last time that the coin would bounce all over the place. And then it was struggling to find whether it was going goalkeeper or player for me or for you guys, heads or tails. So what I've done is I've put a towel right in front of where I'm working. So as I toss the coin by right, it should hit that towel and stay somewhere within my vicinity so I can see what it's landed on. Now, what I'm looking for on this one. So you give the toss and the toss of the coin comes out. It goes on the heads or the tails. What we're now looking for is just a little movement with the feet to take you to the side that it went to. Now, I don't want any cross-stepping. I want the feet always staying apart and the balance of the shoulders staying over the top of the exercise. Now, this is gonna be a minute's worth of exercise. A lot of you might be finding it a little bit hard to take on the oxygen. 
It's only small exercise to limit times. However, because you're doing it concentrated, a lot of you probably will find you're not breathing during the exercise. So as you do the toss of the coin, you might stop breathing to then transfer to the side. What you're looking for is that high intensity, almost interval sessions or anaerobic workout with this, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for a minute, start my timer, three, two, one, go. Let's go back to that one, so I've got to go that side. So it's that little sharp movement. Now players, all you have to do is go across to touch. So you're moving back, so then take that volley from that next person. So it's just that little flick over. Goalkeepers, you're on the same exercise. So you go to the goalkeeper side, so you go transfer that way. And then come back in, re-pick up the coin. And then go back to the same side. And then come back over, grab the coin again. Let's come back to the same side. And then just hold that shape. Let's go to the player side. Players, again for you, as you do that throw. It's going to go that side, so I'm taking a little volley that way. So I'm looking at my shoulder position. I'm looking at my eye contact where the ball would be. And the continued movement and reaction, depending on where the actual coin lands. Last five seconds, come on, keep going, guys. Two more if you can, two more if you can. Really put it in, really put it in. Last couple. Last couple of seconds, last coin toss, last coin toss. Bang, back to it. And then just set, five, four, three, two, one. Amazing effort, keep going. Have a five second drink, we're gonna to go to the cool down next. So coming on to the last part of today, the cool down. I've picked four or five stretches that I have found have either helped my career, helped prolong the exercise, or helped me get rid of injuries that I've picked up along my way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit a back stretch, we're gonna hit a hamstring stretch, we're gonna hit a groin stretch, and then what we're gonna do is a 20, 30 sort of breaths, so two or so minutes worth of breathing. Now, I class this as recovery breathing. It just allows the testosterone just to taper back down and allow the testosterone to build throughout the exercise rather than we suddenly stop and the cortisol will kick in. So the first stretch we're gonna do is a back stretch. All you're gonna need is the same sort of area you've been working in. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna go down onto your knees, relax the toes onto the ground so you point your toes, and you're gonna put your hands as far in front as you can, putting your backside to your ankles. Your head comes over, and all you're gonna do is try and sink as much as you can into the ground. And all you're gonna do is hold it for five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and then come up. Now remember, every time you're doing these stretches, what I want you to do is concentrate on your breathing. So this time, what we're gonna look like we're doing is we're gonna arch our back. So we're just gonna push our backside into the air and really arch as hard as we can into the back. And again, we're just gonna go down into that bottom pose. Breathing nice as we're doing it. And this time we're coming up and we're going into the cat pose and you're just literally hitting your back as high up to the, uh, to the ceiling as physically possible. And the last one just to go all the way down. And then just take your time, gently come up and we're gonna go on to a hamstring stretch. Now, a hamstring stretch is a fairly simple. There's loads of them to go around. But one I enjoy, pull my actual toe up, gently lean down the straight leg. I don't put weight on the light straight leg. I'm, if I'm gonna put weight on at all, it'll be onto my bent leg, but I'm just gonna try and reach down the back of the calf muscle. One Once I've held that for 12, 13 seconds, again, my shape is that or that. All I'm gonna do is change and go to my opposite foot. If you find it tight, bring the ankle up to start with, leave it on the ground, and then gently bring it up as far as you can as you're in the stretch itself. Try to keep your straight leg as straight as possible. 
nice little bend in the bent leg, putting the weight on the back of your heels. And once you've again done that for 12, 13 seconds, just come up, flick off to get rid of any lactate you might have produced. We're going to go down to a groin stretch. Now, my favourite groin stretch is ankles together, knees as wide as I can. I go onto my fists, but if you need more stability, you can go onto your hands. And all you're going to do is push your elbows into your groins whilst leaning forwards with your shoulders. So that one in that shape there should look like that. And again, you're just trying to concentrate on your breathing. This is your relaxation time. It's not meant to be done sharply. You can do this longer than what I'm doing on the video. We're stretching it's each to their own. As long as you're feeling you've got a nice stretch on there and you're over stretching, you're doing it perfectly. And then last but not least, I've got my peanut. Now, you don't have to sit on a peanut, you can just sit on the floor. But I prefer sitting on the nice core stability peanut. Legs dim, relax. My shoulders are up nice and high. My hands are going to relax. And all we're going to do is we're literally going to breathe. For 20 seconds and we're literally just gonna you can close your eyes for this one you can keep your eyes open you could technically put some music on if you fancied that and all you're doing is you're just gonna breathe gently so it's just gonna be one breath hold it at the top and then breathe out two breaths three breaths Four breaths. Five breaths. Now, as you guys continue your breathing, what I'd say to you guys is, in my actual professional sessions, what I'd suggest my guys doing now is, once I've done an actual exercise routine, I'd be asking them to do action points, which are basically learning points. So something that you've picked up on that you might have done well, or you might have done bad. How could you change something? Or what did you change to make a progression happen? Whilst you're doing the breaths now, what I want you to do is try and think of those sort of things. And obviously, in the next couple of days, we're bringing out loads of different videos. So please come back, recheck out our Instagrams, our YouTubes, our Facebooks and our Twitters. Um, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Cheers, guys. Have a good day.